So if this has intrigued you about how to do piecework in your own company, now you probably think, oh, how am I going to implement it? How am I going to get it going? Well, again, if you refer back to the book that we wrote, it has seven steps to successful implementation. But among them, what we're doing is we're telling you, you want to go to your guys, you want to sell it to them first. You want to tell them that this is going to be good for them, that if they're smart, they're going to make more money, that if they work hard, they're going to make more money, that the lazy guys are not going to make money, but the guys that, are, that, that do a good job, the productive people are going to make a lot more money. Saw so it that way. You also say, hey, you're going to be on my side. We're going to be together in this. We're going to be serving the customer and we're going to be trying to get the customer to be happy with our service. Also, what I found is the employees will then go a step farther and start to do marketing for you because they're, they're going to want to have the jobs that are right close around the job that they're doing so that they can actually make more money. They also do estimating all on their own. So how do you sell it to them? Well, one is you tell them how it is, but two, the most important part is you say, okay, over the next two weeks, one week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it is that you, you decide, I'm going to track your hours on the clock and I'm going to track your hours on piecework. And by tracking those two, I'm going to let you know at the end of this time period which, which one you make more at. And I will, I will pay you whichever one you want to. Because I guarantee you that the hard workers are going to make a lot more money on piecework. And the lazy workers are not going to like it and they're probably going to drop out right at the beginning. So at the end of the two week period or that three week or four week period, whatever it is you decide, you show them the two paychecks. Say, do you want me to pay you, you know, $1,200 or do you want me to pay you $1,500? And let them decide. They're going to get the idea right away. I, I'd say most of my experience has taught me that, that the guys get the idea within about two days. Within two to three days, they understand that standing around and drinking coffee and shop time and 7-Eleven stops and all that kind of stuff is not really paying them anything. And so they want to do that. But the other thing that is really cool about that is, and I've referred to this, is that the employees start to push your company. You don't have to be the only one pushing the company anymore. Because remember, if they can stretch if you're paying by the hour and they can stretch it out longer, they get paid more. But if you start paying by piecework, they actually want to accumulate those jobs that are close to the jobs that they're doing. They want to push your company. They want to minimize drive time. They want to minimize breakdowns. They want to minimize shop time in the morning. They're on your side. And together, you guys want to move forward and build your company. It's amazing how much that changes the character of your company. Your company becomes a whole new one, less babysitting, less hassles. You don't feel this tension between management and, and labor anymore. Everybody's on it together. They do their own estimating because they'll say, hey, I'll do this job. I think it's a 1.0 job. At that point, they've told you they're happy to get paid one hour for that. If the customer agrees to it, the customer is happy to pay you the $55 and everybody's happy. And you don't even have to get out in your little truck and go do the estimate. It really is something else. We've had so many testimonials of people say they would never go back.